Dear Younger Me, Reminiscing the moment that I prepared to walk down the aisle, I turned to my father and said, Dad, I I can't do this. Why is that the first thought that crosses our mind when we reach the final day of confirmation? Why do we have doubt when we took time, years to prepare for the moment? Why do we automatically want to give up before we even begin? Well, we know that answer. It's the trick of the enemy. I will remind us that he comes in purposely to kill, steal, and destroy. He wanted to destroy the union before it became a union, but God sought otherwise. My daddy said to me, yes, you can, daughter. You can do it. This is the moment you've been waiting for. I took a deep breath and began my walk to my new future, my walk to my new half of me, my walk to my new destiny. Our first child we named Destiny, knowing the powerful meaning of the hidden power believed to control what will happen in the future. Fate, the destiny of our union, the destiny of our child. I don't regret a second of my decision on that hot June Saturday. It literally was one of the best decisions that I made, but with that decision came challenges and adversity. With that decision came discourse and uncertainty coupled with excitement, hope, happiness, and love. Right before I walked down the aisle, I sang a song with the lyrics of, The day I spotted you was such a joy so true. The day I met you I knew it had to be you. The day you kissed me, the sparks grew, that's true. The day I fell in love with you, I knew it had to be you so i sing this love song to my baby boo i meant every lyric 18 years ago and i mean it even more today I reflect and think about my younger married me and I wouldn't change my decision or the steps we have taken except for me to be more submissive to my husband from the start. My natural me is one who is independent, strong, God-fearing and self-motivated, which in treasuring those qualities that God has given me, I do wish I could tone it down just a little bit when it comes to my interaction with my husband. I struggle to let go and let him lead at times, especially once we became married parents. Although he appreciates the independent me, at times I think he desires for my strong wall to be lowered a tad. Every year, every stage was and is a learning lesson and an opportunity for me to become a better me. I work on being a better married me through positive and open communication, through spontaneity, through time, through support, and most importantly, through love. My younger me to my older married me works on these attributes daily so we can continue throughout this life on our journey of love. Love forever and always, my older married me. Wasn't that letter good? It was so good. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me so far. Um, I don't want to take for granted that everyone that comes here knows Jesus. I want to extend Jesus to you. Jesus, the Son of God, who came into this world to die on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the scriptures say in John 3, 16, for for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I want to extend 
that to you. All you have to do is say, one, you have to believe, confess with your mouth and believe, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and you should be saved. That's what the scripture says. So you can simply say, Lord, I am a sinner and I believe that I'm a sinner, but you are a savior who came for me. Please come into my life and save me. And that easy, you're, you're, you're in the kingdom. <laughs> that easy, you are in the family of Christ. So I first wanted to extend that to you. Secondly, I want to say, Let's keep this conversation going. We know that we are blessed and encouraged when we hear other people's testimonies. And I want to hear your testimony. I want to hear how these testimonies are blessing you. So leave a comment. Share it with a friend. Tell someone else how, what you got out of it. There's some questions at the bottom of the written letter um, to even start like some conversational prompts. Some conversational prompts. Join in. Come on, guys. Come on, <laughs> let's let's get in it. I believe that God wants to do a mighty thing here and it starts with me and it starts with you. So I pray that God will be big in you and God will be big in me. And I believe that we will see it if we believe. Till next time, see you then.